Hello, it's Sarah. And I'm playing with clay and just decided to turn on the camera and see what happens. I probably won't post it, but we'll see. <laughs> so I am embedding cl uh, the clay with some metal pieces that I have. Um, mainly these are spacer beads and charms. So I'll show you what I got here so far. I was using the light color clay, but I want to change and go to the medium because I like to use this for... Um, stamping on and I'll stamp on a couple pieces too so I can show you that uh, but yeah so I'm working on the little boxes the trinket boxes and I'm doing them in a um, so like this this one I have this one kind of arranged I like it I think it's looking pretty good I don't know if I'll glue it yet I just want it but I have another one this is and they're pretty small so um, I like to have options, small options, so that's why I'm doing this. These are um, spacer beads. These are little flower spacer beads. I'll zoom in. And I love these, and I've decided to just make little tiny ones. I'll show you what I have so far. So this is a tile that I'm going to stick in the oven. I'm going to put this right in the oven. Um, I've embedded them about halfway, and these little... Uh, they're spacer beads, they're flowers, and I, I'm pretty sure I got these at AC Moore or Michaels. I, I get a lot of my stuff at AC Moore and Michaels because they're right near me. I do shop online and um, I go to Hobby Lobby from time to time. It's further away from me, but look, these little heart spacers, I just thought they would look super cute as a little tiny um, bead. Like, you know, if I, okay, like on here. I was looking for a square to go in here and I found this little applique bead but you know like that's kind of small I made these yesterday I generally forget to make like see this little guy I don't know if you can see I'm not even in the shot this little guy I did the other day and he came in handy and just keeping them the size of the, the charm is the idea so these are it's not about the clay it's more about the little flower so and there's like a little mark on that and I'm not gonna do anything to the clay I'm, I could put mica powders on it I'm just gonna leave it light pink and let the bling do the talking so let me set that aside and I'm gonna get just I just put this through my pasta machine on the um, thickest setting and this is the what's left of the medium color clay that I had and there's little air bubbles in there, and I don't really want them. Um, but anywho, I'm going to embed in there so it doesn't really, I could just go right on top of that. I have this angel charm, and I cut the bail off, which after thought, I thought, well, that kind of looked like a halo. But still, she's she's not as generic as, I. she looks a little more religious than I like. But um, nevertheless, I'm going to use it. And I'm just gently pushing into the clay and this is Sculpey 3 again and it's very soft so it you you don't know your own strength when you're doing this so just be careful and when you try to remove the clay from the tile I'm working on a tile um, you can distort it very very easily so just keep that in mind and oh just use your um, cutter and you can cut it off or not cut it off ease it off the, the sheet the tile so I'm just embedding these gently. Oh, I, ran, I made a circle and then, damn it. Um, all right, that one's in there. What else do I have? Um, I wanna do, I'll do another heart, why not? I'll do a heart in this color. Uh, what else? I got these yesterday. This is like a, one of those acrylic, not yesterday, the other day. I think these were on clearance. They're charm alongs or something like that at Michael's. And I love these flowers. These are so cool. But I'm pretty sure they're plastic, so I won't keep this in the clay when I bake it. I'm just going to set it. Actually, I'm going to use the darker clay for that because I think, I think it'll pop better. What else could I put in here? that will show up um, let me see this one you know what let me just do these let me just do these I'm on camera I don't want to waste time 
And the first thing, I'm going to just release it from the tile, like I said. Just get it off there, and then I'll cut them apart and do them little sections at a time. So for this angel, I just want to keep it, let the angel do the talking. She's, she's the main attraction. I don't um, need a lot of clay around it, is what I'm saying. So I'm cutting it right up to the charm. So this is it. That's the tile right there. And I actually think I am going to add some mica powders because angels are like they have a glow, a glow about them. In my mind, they do. I don't know if they do in real life, but let me see if I have a brush. Um, I just like to apply the mica powder with... Um, a brush it just is easier I mean because it, it is kind of messy and this is Pearl X and this is flamingo pink you know what I don't want to use flamingo pink I want to use I have this color that's called like uh, here it is this is rose gold pink gold and it's just I love the color I don't know how to explain it but it's it's a pink gold and I just sh add a little shimmer to the clay and I don't seal this afterwards or anything, and I'm not an expert on mica powders, and I've gotten comments from people who use it who say you should wear a mask and everything, but look at that. Can you see? Oh, see, I'm a little bit out of the shot. But that just adds a little extra pizzazz. So I'm going to put that on my tile to bake. And then I have that. And then let's get these. So I'm going to cut again. The same idea is, oops, I'm kind of a little, okay, good. I don't need a lot of clay. I want the charm to do the talking. So that's what I'm doing. I'm kind of cutting them down to the bare minimum of clay. I think I'm going to add mica powder to that too. I just think it adds a little extra shimmer. I'll leave all those other ones uh, plain, but it's a ribbon, so can you tell? I'm so far away, huh? All right, and then I have two little hope charms. You can bake metal charms, so just go to town. Like, see, that's the fun thing. You can go through your jewelry pieces. And just embed them in the clay and bake them just like that and you have no worries anything that's plastic or you know even rhinestones if you're not positive that they're glass I don't think they'll totally melt but they could distort because the ovens only my ovens around 275 I think um, and you bake according to the packaging but look how cute I'm just gonna bake that just like that and this one too. There, the bale was on top of the O. I could have probably gotten that off a little better. But you get the point. I'm going to do this little heart. And just let it be what it is. Do you know what I'm saying? See, I picked that up and it, that was even stuck. This um, Sculpey 3 is so sticky. This clay. That's a little crooked. A little crooked. Alright, and pick it up. But these are great for when you have just a little space on your um, mosaic that you need to fill. I just like to get some made and have them in my stash so that when I need it, it's there. All right, so now I do have some of this brighter clay. And I think I will embed, see this just looked so nice, but I'm gonna take this and stick it in the pasta machine on the widest setting real quick. And I'll embed some, see look, I did get an air bubble. You can just pop it and then smooth it out a little. I'm telling you, this is so soft, this clay. All right, I have, I, I have a bunch of these ribbons. Is that gonna be good on there? I think so. I think I'll do it on the darker. And this has a little, um, I guess they call it a bale, right? Or a, yeah, whatever, a shank, right? So I like to cut it halfway at least, not all the way down, just so the clay has something to grab onto. 
And then I just, I don't actually embed it. I just make an impression. Damn it. I had a shot. I make an impression. I need a, like a bullseye on my, <laughs> so I just make an impression because I have to remove that because I'm not going to bake it in the clay. I'm going to take my pokey tool and try to be as gentle as possible not to distort and then just lift it out. But I can still see the impression. So when I uh, bake it and then get it back out, I can glue this back down into the clay or glue that into the clay. I really want to do another. These are kind of big. Let me see. Where is it? My stash is over here. Anyway, I don't know if I want to. I'm going to just do these little. Oh, man. These are awesome. I'm going to do a couple more of these. I love these. These turned out so cool. So I just embed it. And then remove it. Oh, actually, I should probably cut it. I can't tell how big it is. I just, all right, good. I'll put it back in there. What, oh, I want to do another one. These are awesome. These little, uh, I guess they're called acrylic too. Um, I want to do, I'll do this one on the medium color clay. Yeah, I'll do that on here. Um, what else did I have? I want to do that other flower, right? Maybe this one. And all I need is to make sure I have a big enough square around it. So I'm going to remove all of those from the clay. But first, let me cut it to make sure I have the right size. I'll zoom up a little bit since I tend to keep going out of the shot. So I'm just going to go. I have to put my head in here a little bit. This is the one that I removed already, but I'm just gonna I'm gonna bake it just like that and then I'll glue that in when it's done. Same thing with these. I'll show you um I know, this is the first time I tried these little um, three-dimensional flowers in the clay and I loved how it turned out. I used it on my mosaic, this one right here. Look how pretty and it's like three-dimensional. It sticks up out of the clay and I put a, a stickles in the middle. I just love it. I think that's adorable. So I'm going to do that. And actually, I don't even need to really put the stickles because the... Um, the pink clay just shows through, see it? But I think it looks cool. So I'm going to bake this. I have to remove the flour first. It distorted on me a little bit. And I just set the, um, see, I could go. I set them to the side so I know where, so these are just going to be in a little pile on the desk ready to be glued into place. Let's see this one. I have, have I done these before? I thought I did this one. This one. And I have another one of them here. I think I'll do another one. But look, I put total gold um, mica powder, or no, no, that's actually um, Inca gold on that one. That looks cool, too. I thought I did. You know what? I'm going to do another one of those because I like it. It looks very precious. I like things that look sweet. and so Again, it's just I'm taking most of the clay off <clears throat> just so I have a base to put this on and get it to fit into my mosaic. So I'm just going to bake it just like that. <clears throat> Getting it out is the tricky part because they are, the clay is so soft. All right, it came out. That's awesome. So I have one, two, three, four, five things there. I definitely want to do 
this. I love, that's actually, it could go on the box, but it's going to be like a centerpiece type thing. And then I just make everything around it. You know, like this, this ribbon, that's the same size ribbon as this. I just made the, um, the tile much bigger. I gave it a border. Oh, I'm not even in the shot. I gave it a border and kind of made it, but I like the idea of, um, cutting all the way around it and just having um, the charm do the talking type thing. So let me put this medium color clay in there and I'm going to do that wings. Where are you now? Where, oh, here they are. And again, I just want to cut off enough of the, um, <clears throat> just so it doesn't go all the way through, but I like to leave a little something that's going to grab the clay. You know what? I want to, I'm going to texture the clay first. Just going to use this little swirly and just gently give it some pressure. I could use my ink pad just to put even pressure. I don't want a ton. Eh, I could have used a little more, but I'm going to see if I can And just remove it. So you gotta work it off the clay because the clay, I put pressure on the clay. Let's see if that's enough texture. Yeah, I think it's gonna be good. I um I did another one and I really liked it. it's on here. I really liked it with the texture. See the texture behind it? It kind of looks like wind or you know, I think it, it reminds me of wind or the sky or something it being in the clouds so, and I think I will put a little bit of mica powder on top of here too I think I used the pink um, I'm gonna use the pink ink of gold instead and I'll show you that but I got to remove this put it in the pile and then I have this is um, a metallic rub I think it's wax I don't know fast drying metal gloss paint it says and it's ink of gold and this color is rose quartz and I just take a little on my finger and gently rub across the, um, the raised areas of the clay and get a little bit of that metallic shine on there. And I mean, I'm going to use um, Glossy Accents, and Glossy Accents is pretty strong, so it'll, it'll adhere it. Um, so yeah, that looks so pretty. Um, what else did I want to do? So that's... A good start I definitely I think I want to just embed all this I have another um, I have this hope I have this I want to do another one of them and um, I like that this would go good on the darker colored clay I only have this well no I have a whole other pack so I'm gonna just do and again, um, I just want to cut this shank and, be and just set it into the clay, not like too, don't push too hard. And I'm going to do this little guy too, just a little pressure, loosen it off the tile and just let the clay be the background and remove this and bake that and the same thing with this I'm just gonna let I have cookie cutters and like when I was trying to do inches and stuff I don't have like a perfect size inchy um, square um, cookie cutter so I make pretty good squares with just my blade but like you got to get this off here ah. so sticky this clay is so sticky so I'm just gonna bake that I have I like this dark clay for these pink these very light pink oh courage 
I definitely want to use courage and that's a little big but it's not that big and again I don't even really need to press it because I'm just going to glue it on top and just let the button be the oh look at that I didn't even get all the way down to the bottom of the clay I think my blades might be getting a little dull it's possible probably not even in the shot let's see if that's looking straight a little more um yeah see I mean it's it's got a little impression so I'll know which one is which but I'm just gonna glue it on there anyway so it doesn't matter and I honestly you could just glue these right to your um, substrate they call it so right on top of where's my other box this one I could just glue these right onto there you know and then um, fill in with other tiles and stuff and that's what I did on my Christmas piece if those of you who didn't see it but I I kind of think I like the um all right I'm gonna pull this in the shot courage can go in the pile I have so much going on here like these are just the buttons on the piece without clay behind them and I kind of like the way the clay like here here's oops I don't want to mess up my but this um, is a button and I think if I would have embedded it in the clay it just I don't know and then see I look I put a bunch of seed beads or these are actually micro beads um, but I did that a lot on this piece I just filled in with a lot of the buttons without using clay I didn't um and I just filled in like this whole place and it looks cool like for a Christmas piece I think it looks pretty cool I'll zoom out but, I mean you guys can watch the video on this but um I decided that uh, I like the neatness of this with everything being embedded it's just neater like instead of just having random things and then I have to fill in like I would have to fill in all around this crown and I don't know I think it just looks neater this way um, so that's why I did it um, I just decided and I mean the clay isn't it's not cheap it bugs me like one little block of clay like this is like $2.39 so when they're on sale for a dollar, go get them. Because it doesn't go that far. I mean, you know, considering how many tiles I use, it's, it's, I don't know. You need at least like 10, 10 blocks of clay to get like a good stash of tiles going, you know. Um, but anywho, I still, uh, I, I still think that looks neater. I wanted, I wanted to do this little flower. It's kind of off color. It's not really, but I just think it's pretty. It's like a pearly button. I like that. So I'm going to do that. I have love. And then you know what? We're going to stamp on some clay. I might as well film the stamping process again. And I want to do this. Um, I'm going to do this. So I'll go away and come back. And I'm going to bake, put these in the oven. And then I'll do some stamping. Um, I'll be right back. All right, I decided to do an applique, a couple of applique flowers on this little hope charm. Still going to remove that before I bake it, but um, figured I'd turn the camera on and see what you think. So I have I just taken the, the lighter color pink and I've rolled it out into a snake and I'm just cutting out little pieces of clay and rolling them into little tiny balls and each one of these will become a petal on a little flower that I'm going to make with a toothpick and I call it the applique technique and I think that's an official name for it now these again Sculpey is very very soft and it's a little squishy for this process but I'm going to wing it and make do, and I'm just getting my toothpicks. So I'm going to be removing this, but I think I'm going to put a couple flowers just here and there popping out. And I have some green, 
that I'm just going to use for um, the centers and a couple of leaves. And I'll show you how I do the leaves. Okay. So first thing I'm going to get is my little ball tool. And I use a little stylus, this little stylus. And I'm just going to put, uh, let's see. This is kind of wide. I'm going to change, sorry. I'm just, I'm going to go to my little smaller one. Who cares? I'm going to put a flower. I'm going to put a whole one right there. I'm going to put a partial one right there and a partial one right there. So when in doubt, work in threes. That's, <laughs> that's what I've always heard. All right, so I just take these little balls of clay and I think I'm just gonna put like three petals on this top one. And I kind of get them where I want them first. You don't have to and oh man, this is <clears throat> another thing. <clears throat> I'm gonna move this to a different tile. Because when I make when I do applique, I like to be able to move the piece. So I'm just gonna scoop this off here and put it on a different tile. I'll move into the shot. Don't worry, I'm gonna scoop these over. Oh, that didn't work so well. I cut half of them in half. I beheaded them. Anywho, um we'll we'll be alright. Alright. So I'm just gonna move it back over here now. But I am gonna be turning the piece because when you put a petal down, you want your toothpick to be at this angle pointing toward the center and just give it a press. So I'm gonna point my clay where I want it and give it a press. Oops. And then you keep turning and putting the, the little ball of clay where you want it and give it a press. So that's like three little, um, petals on that flower. Kind of butchered this one. And I'm going to put five, I think, on this full one. One, two. All right, so this is just a regular toothpick. And I've seen, I think people do this with a knitting needle of some type or some type of a needle. But I like a toothpick. And I'm just, like again, pointing down into the center. Just give pressure and push back. Um, and like I said, this clay is so soft, don't push too hard, just enough to get the shape of a petal. You can kind of roll it into position. Oopsie, that's how sticky the clay is. It literally stuck to the uh, toothpick. Oops, my gosh. This is that's the first time that's happened. And I've actually picked it up. But that's how sticky. Alright, so I'm gonna leave that one there. Oh my gosh, it looks adorable. I need um I'm gonna do another three down there. And if this snake, this snake is actually kind of wide for these little petals can be so tiny. So depending on the size of clay that you roll out, that's how small or big your petals will be. And um, I've done them tinier. And I'm just, you know, I think this looks good though. This is These are coming out much better than the ones I did the other day. Um, just roll it into place right near that, uh, where I'm going to put my little center in. And just give it a press. Maybe I can press and twist and it'll release the toothpick. Press and twist. And just press it right up in there. This is so sticky, you guys. It's crazy. All right, good enough. And then I'm going to take do the same thing with the, the green clay to make my um, home. And that's what's great about applique. You only need a tiny bit of clay. Um, I mean literally like a tiny piece of clay so I can totally so I'm just getting this rolled out I'm gonna use three little balls for the centers one two and I, I just hand it to myself and roll it into a ball and then for the leaves I'll get a, a little bigger but not much but we're gonna roll those into teardrops and it makes a great leaf shape I'll show you so these are a bit bigger, 
and I'm going a little big because honestly you really do want to keep it tiny and I'm gonna use that ball tool again that I had and just make a little impression <clears throat> in the center of the these little centers I'll show you <clears throat> so I'm putting it in the middle and just give it some gentle pressure and it like makes it look three-dimensional a little bit see that yeah it's cool all right and then like I said you just want to roll these into a teardrop so I just take the um, clay and kind of go on the edge and it goes into a teardrop shape and you just do that before you pick each one up and you can make them longer or shorter and stubbier and just use that same old toothpick and I'm gonna put this big one up here and you kinda want it to be straight but you do the same thing and just give it pressure and see how that looks like a leaf because you made it into a teardrop shape already I like this little one for like over here I'm gonna put that right there oh my gosh this clay is so sticky I know I've been saying that a lot but man it's sticky put it right here and it's okay if it hangs off a little bit because it'll harden and it'll uh I'm just gonna put it one right here I think that's all I need I'm gonna put two more I'm just gonna put a couple of little ones and I don't think I'm gonna do although I think I might add mica powder too what the heck right I think that I love that little that pink gold color mica powder it's by um, per, uh, Pearl X so this is just a tiny little one I'm gonna put that over here kind of stuck to the charm so now I gotta because I'm gonna be pulling that shoot I forgot about that I'm gonna be pulling that out of the clay duh what the duh all right and I'm gonna put this one yeah but I gotta lift this off Isn't that pretty though that is so pretty but now you guys see how much work this well it's not work like I don't consider it work <laughs> I consider it fun but like effort time you know um, it's not just like whip it out type stuff and you know I'm gonna sell this at my craft show hopefully I mean I might not sell it someone has to want to buy it um where's that mica powder here anywho uh yeah each this is just one little tile in a whole bunch of tiles you know so it's it's very interesting that's why it's hard for me to just give things up that's why I have my whole craft room well not as much anymore I've kind of done away with or taken a lot of stuff down but they're all my babies and I say that because like you know I've put my love and care into each piece I I mean I I have I really have I've you know I'm not just willy-nilly doing it and that's the thing that's I think that's why I switch around so much to so many different um, crafts because I want it to be new and love every single one and I think if I was just cranking out this tile all day long I would be bored as could be and just like it wouldn't be challenging me anymore and I wouldn't find the same joy that I get from uh, doing it from time to time so when I put the clay away it's because I need to try something new for a minute you know I need to um, I want to do that again all right so I'm gonna put I want to put them in the oven because that tile is getting full and I am gonna come back and show you stamping next 
Okay, I'm back and I'm going to do some stamping and I'm going to use archival ink for this. Um, I needed to make a few more fillers and I'm going to use my music notes. I'm going to do a couple more hope, but I'm going to make them shorter. Like I'm probably going to cut it at half that, half the size. I'm going to do a couple of words and I'm going to use the ink. And I've done these before, but I haven't used the ink. I have hope, love, I think that's all I'm going to do right now. I like imagine, but I don't think that's necessarily for this project, um, which is fine. I'm going to do some a couple words. I'm going to do faith and hope, and those are going to go on my box. I'm going to put hope here. So I'm going to the way I have it figured out is H. All right, O, P, and I'm pu I put the P up a little high, and then the E goes down a little low. But I want it to fit in here. All right, so I'm going to get a stamp block, and I'm going to put a little, because these probably don't have any sticky left on them. Is this going to be big enough? Yeah, I'm just going to put a line of my ATG gun across it and hope for the best but I want to try and pick this up uh, let me I'm gonna turn my O it doesn't have to be perfect like I just want it to fit in that spot uh, I'm not in the shot I know I'm not in the shot I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry uh, good okay so I'm going to try and pick these up the way they are yes it worked okay then I'm going to oh I want to ink this up too hold on I'm gonna ink it up and I haven't used these with ink for a while these were only used for clay so it looks like it's picking up the ink very well and gently stamp that onto the clay now I rolled this clay out to um, the thinnest setting on my pasta machine. Oh yay, it looks great. Okay, now I want to make sure that's going to fit in here. So when I cut it, I think I'm just going to go to the smidge, the bare, you know, <laughs> right at the tips of the letters. I'm going to try and, you know, I'm going to try and cut it right at the edge is what I'm saying. And I have to lift this off so it doesn't, it looks like there's a bubble right there, which is perfect. No, not perfect. That's sarcastic. And now I think I got it dirty. I think I might put, um, no, I'm not going to put applique because I'll put, I could have put some type of text. No, I couldn't have put texture because, sorry, I'm thinking out loud. This is what you guys get when I do, <laughs> like, oh, here comes my head. Watch out. I don't know if this is going to fit. I'm going to have to measure it somehow. Because I wanted it to be like, up, oh, like a little surprise in the bottom of the box. Oh, it's going to fit. Yay, it's going to fit. All right. Now, what can I do to this? I could add... Hmm. We're stamping and I have little stamps here. What type of a little stamp could I put? Like a it would be nice if I had like a tiny little heart that I could just go all around it with. I don't think I do. Um You know what? I'll just do my dip dots then. I'll make little polka dots just to give it some a little bit of texture. I'll just go and look it's distorting it a little because when you press into the clay it definitely distorts it but this will give it enough something something just a little something to 
you know, because it's going to be on the underneath side of a drawer. It's not like it's a main, but I think that's going to be super cute. I still could square it up a little bit because I did distort it just now a tiny bit. And I'm going to add mica powder to it. And then I'm going to bake it and I'm going to glue it on the underneath here. So I don't know. I just, I think I'm going to do face and put face back here. Uh, mica powder. I put, I clear my desk to make room and then I can't find anything. Okay. <coughs> um, and OMG, you guys, look at this tile I did. Can you see those? Little like, what are those kind of drinks? Cocktails. And I put a little flower with them. A martini? Is that a martini? Or a Cosmo or something? I don't drink. I should. No. <laughs> but anyway, so now I'm just going to rub a little bit of glimmer, which, you know, it doesn't need it because it's, like I said, it's on the bottom of the drawer. But this is what I'm saying. I like to add a bling. And I, I think I am smudging the ink. I'm getting a little bit of smudge there. So the ink probably needs to dry before you do that. Oopsie. But I'm going to keep this. I'm keeping it. It's going on the bottom of the drawer. I'm not that worked up over it. I'm going to put it on here to bake. So that's good. Now, I want to do faith the same way. So I'm going to go, this definitely is big. So, but I have room to cut it. I'm using different letters, like I'm not using all the same letters. F A I T. Because it wouldn't fit if I used all the same font. H. And this has my, my glue is on there now. But that's fine. So I had this fitting in here last night. And it's gonna I don't really think I used this H I didn't I think I only used the T hold on I'm looking on my desk for um, another stamp oh dear all right well you know what oh it's on the bottom of here I knew it all right so I have it F A I T H I'm going to do the same thing with my stamping block just put a line of my adhesive oh once I get these sitting how I want them doesn't have to be perfect it's just a secret word underneath right I kinda like the F like that I like it okay and I'm gonna just do the same thing Put a little bit of my and then just try to pick it up right in that position. Hopefully I can get it. Oh, the A didn't go. It's all right, I'll be able to do it. Just put this down. Sorry, hopefully my head, I'll do it over here so I don't stick my head in the shot. This is not easy, you guys, to get. It's fumbly. All right. I'm good. I'm going to ink that up, and I'm going to stamp that on this piece of clay. Should I texturize it first? Nah. I'll, I'll, I will texturize it before I, um cut it I think because then it just saves you I mean I do have black on that it's kind of stinks that the maybe I could hit it with my um, heat gun before I touch it so the other letters the curly Q letters were um, recollections letter pack that I got from Michaels the stamps the other ones and that a is not inked um, or Mike, or what is, well, I almost said Michael Jackson. <sighs> Tim Holtz, tall text, they're called. 
And I just mixed and matched them because I just wanted them to fit. I guess he's like the Michael Jackson of stamping, isn't he? And I'm just going to stamp that. Lift it up. And I am going to just hit that with my heat gun and see if... I don't want to... I've never heated clay before, so I don't know what it's going to do. I can see the, the slick, the shininess of that tea, though. Like, it definitely isn't dry. I'm just going to leave it. I'm not going to texturize it. I'm just going to leave it. I'm not even going to put ink. I can put, no, I'm just going to leave it. Um, I think it'll be fine. It's just on the back of the piece. I'm going real close to the, I'm going to, I might have to put my head in here. Sorry, guys. I really want this to fit, so I have to be close to the edges of the letters. bake it hope for the best that's gonna fit um, all right so now let's just do some real stamping I'm gonna do the um, my breast cancer stamp and this is I said it's on the thinnest setting of my pasta machine because um, I'm gonna I want to I'm just using these as spacers so I'm gonna ink this up And I, I think I mentioned, this is Archival by Ranger. It's a permanent jet black. And I'm just going to stamp this. Not too much pressure, because really I just want the lettering. It sticks. But yay, good impression. I like that. And I'm just going to let it dry. Let me do... I think I can fit this little piece of hope right there and I'll cut it out so let's see I'm just gonna ink up that section of the stamp that says hope and put that right on the edge here it distorted a little but I think I'm gonna use it I might as well all right so I am going to Get this off the tile. I'm telling you, this Sculpey 3 clay is so... You know what that is? That's a bubble. That's a bubble in the clay. There was a bubble right where it says uh, desire and expectation. There's a bubble there. I think I'm not going to use that. But the only problem is now I have black ink on my clay. I like to cut off determination. I like to, I might use that, I'm not sure. But this I use as a lovely all by itself piece. And I'm going to try and just cut this into small pieces. I'm not really going to look at what I'm, uh, a lot of times I try to get all the words in there that I want or something. But I'll do this a couple times, and I want to just go, hmm. Yeah, I say that, but then <laughs> I, want, I want littler pieces is all. Shoot, because I like that part. They're kind of strips. I'm going to cut this. I think I'm just going to keep, oh, God, look at that, guys. I just ruined it. I'll keep that one. I'll cut that off since I screwed it up. It's so soft and sticky. It's like not really easy to work with here today. Um, I'm going to cut it. Can't I can't even pick it up right oh my gosh I'm gonna keep this one all 
All right. I'm going to cut a little bit more of this off. I'm going to paint them and put stickles on them when they are out of the oven. So here's the termination. And I'm going to do these little words on here. Try to. I have hope and love. And I really just have to make sure I'm telling myself not to press too hard. I don't want to press too hard. I just want a nice clear image. That's pretty good because sometimes it gets too dark or too... Oh, that's upside down. It's okay. They're, they're both pretty good. I'll keep them. What else was I going to do? Um... Oh, the, the music notes. So I'm just, I think I might turn, no, I have to, I have to re-roll that through. Um, but yeah, I want to do music notes and try to cut that down really into small pieces of, yet have the pattern. I was doing the, these little, oh look, the ink got on there. Shoot, it's juicy. My ink pad is juicy. I was doing this with just the impression of the word without using ink. And I thought, I should just use ink because it's it makes it so much easier to read and prominent. And that way I don't have to use black because I like to use black clay because when you stamp into it and then if I put mica powders over it, the word shows up black, but this just totally, you know, I'm using pink clay. It's nice. All right. Anyway, now I'm going to do that music notes, and then I'll bake everything. And I guess I'll come back and show you the finished uh, tiles. See, look. But if I keep, I can add more clay to it, too. I have, I'll add more clay. And it, it gets all, like embedded in there so it, it, it goes away after a few um, mixes like that'll be fine that looks good I'll print right on top of it so let's ink up this tile or this uh, stamp it's not perfect I'm gonna do it again I don't think I got ink on the middle section. That one's better. I like it. Right now, remember, you can't just rip it off the top. You got to kind of, there you go, Get nudge it off. So I am going to try and make little pieces of this so I have two I think I'm gonna so I have a bunch I have to make more room on my um, tile over here that I'm gonna bake I have things going every which way. But I'll tell you what, that Sculpey 3 is so soft. Whew. It's, it's, it'll frustrate you, you know, like you could, you know, be sitting here and think, I'm going to have some fun, and the next thing you know, you're like, what the hell, this clay is getting me frustrated. <laughs> so... Just beware and know what you're working with. And then, see, that looks so pretty. I'm leaving that one. I like that whole thing. This one I'll cut into pieces because it's, uh, there's a little piece missing. I'll use this. And, oops. Cut that off. Actually, I'm gonna cut it right here because I like I just like that little piece right there. I'm gonna do this. I just want that little piece. It has a 
triple thing and like four, th <laughs> I don't know what they're called. All right. Look how little. That's perfect. I love it. All right. Sorry, right, you guys. That's basically it. You bake it according to the wrapper. The wrapper has the directions and the degrees and how long. And you'll have tiles. You'll have a bunch of tiles. You'll have a stash of tiles. And then you're going to put them on to your... See, i got to add something else to this box. This box is not done yet. Um, the other one's pretty much done. Um, but yeah, then you'll have more options when it comes to creating your mosaic. You'll have uh, lots of different sizes and shapes to choose from, which just makes the job easier when you're trying to uh, do, do it, you know, make a design. So, uh, alright you guys, um, I think I might come back and show you the finished tiles. Okay, I've gotten everything out of the oven. Guess what? These fit, except this is a little small. This is the one for the back of the, um, and I'm not sure I love it. I might just decorate with tiles. I'm not sure, but I think the hope I'm going to definitely do. I think the hope is good. It fits really well, and it, I don't love that there's black there, but I might be able to paint that. I might paint around it or something. But I kind of like how that's going to be just like a little secret thing underneath the drawer. And I could redo it, but I think I might just use it. Um, I've already gone ahead and glued most of the um, buttons back onto their... Look how pretty this turned out. I'm going to zoom in. Some of them are so... Pr I love how this turned out. This is the... Um, before... This is the one I did the first time, this Hope. And I did stick, I'm going to, I'll stickles the P too. I'm going to stickles in a minute. But, I mean, they're both pretty, but I really love the, um, the flowers. I just think it adds so much. Uh, what else? Look at these. These are adorable. These are just, uh, here. Little charms by, I got these for 79 cents, and they've been sitting in my stash. 79 cents, uh, Momenta, again. And they don't sell these at Michael's anymore. They they did away with a lot of their different um, Momenta pieces, but I've had them forever. So I figured I'd embed that in the clay, and look how cute. Oh my God, my dog is crazy. So, okay, here's the other one of the hope. So I'm just going to show you I have my glossy accents. Kirby, come. Come. And I'm just going to put some on the back of the button. See how good my dog listens? I'm sure you guys have very obedient dogs. She just wakes up out of a nap and starts barking at the wind. Kirby, come. So I just put glossy accents on there, and I'm going to wiggle it around till I find, oh, what happened? I never, look, I never squished my centers. My center just came falling out of there. Maybe I shouldn't glue this on. All right, I'm going to go get her quiet. All right, so this is what I did. It's bouncing. I'm sorry. So look, this just fell right out because what I did was, when I made this, I never pushed it into the clay. So I have three little green balls that are baked, but they're not, they were not embedded in the clay. And I think I'm just going to put stickles in there now instead of having the green, which it'll look fine. But um, I'm not sure this is fitting, so I want to make sure. See, there's these like little holes that the... Um, that the sh I, 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 if it doesn't go in, I'm just going to cut them off here. And but I, it, they should wiggle in or pop in. Yeah, they popped in. Oh, I cracked the tile too. Damn it! I think it'll be okay though. I think it's going to hold it together. And maybe I'll just. I think it'll be okay. Cause once I glue this down to the surface, it'll um. Kirby, come! Come! She doesn't listen. 
um, but they're so pretty. I love them. All right, then these were the only other ones that I had an issue with. I glued everything else on. Everything else is glued on with no problems at all. And I love them. Matt's yelling at her now. She's just wakes up and just starts barking. All right, so these were the only ones that were are giving me a problem. And I don't remember it doing it. I only did one other one. But it's this little dot. So what I've done is I've just cut the little dot out of there. I just kind of, it's just clay. It just breaks right off. So that way I can um, just glue these right in. And then they are going to get um, a piece of some stickles down in the middle too. So see, that's the thing. It is forgiving. You can um, just put a little glossy accents. And then I am going to just let these sit till tonight. Like I'll come back to this after dinner. I'll go make dinner. And then, oh dear God, there's something out there, I guess. And I'm just going to push down. And it's staying. And, but they are so cute. Oh man, they are cute when they're, I'm just taking out some of the glossy accents. So those will dry. That glossy accents is really strong. It will stay in place. All right, so I'm just going to set those aside and they will dry. And then the last thing I'm going to show you today is um, just going to take some of this, uh, where is my paint now? See, okay. <laughs> I have this like pink taffeta. I actually think, no, I think I'll just use this. Oh, you know what? Oh man, I'm gonna go away because some of these, you know what I like to do? I like to paint everything. Like I'll show you, like one here. Let's see, I'll pull one out and I'll show you. Yeah, I like to add the color, so I'm going to have to go get the, I, the paints aren't on my desk right now. I have, man, see that's the thing with when you do so many different crafts, you, you don't have room for everything on your desk. Now I can't find one of these stinking things. This, all right, fine. See how I paint the heart, and I paint the sun, and I paint the flower. I, I just like that. I think it looks cute, so I will go get that paint. I'll be right back. All right, so I pulled some colors. I like, and they're, um, you know what they are, guys? They are, I have no words. They are called Pearl. Pearl, my pearl paints. Let's see if there's any more hearts. I'll just do all my hearts. This is the Martha Stewart, um, it's called Holly Berry. And here's another heart. And that's all the hearts, I think. I'm gonna use the white. I have some white pearl paint for the clouds. Um, I don't need all these in the way. Hello, could you move out of the way? Uh, the music notes. I'll paint Cure. There's a little flower here. I could just do that white. Like a little daisy. And I think I'll paint. I got some green out. And it's this is the Craft Smart. Uh, green but it's a metallic it was just the cheapest of all of them I have little leaves I'm just gonna paint them this one has little leaves see the leaves and it just again it just adds that much more detail to the piece I love it and it's fun. It is fun. But like I said, if you were doing it all the time, it could get, you know, a little monotonous and a little boring. But 
that I personally uh, switch it up then when it starts getting like, okay, I've been there, done this a few times now. Uh, so this is just pink. This is called uh, Rose, and it's another metallic Craft Smart paint. I'm going to do some flowers. Just a light touch, just get a coat on there. And then I'm going to cover these with stickles. And stickles kind of acts like a uh, like a varnish. It's it's a glitter glue. So when it dries, it has like a uh, well, it's obviously glittery, but um, it it also kind of seals the paint. So that's why I like it. Uh, I'll paint cure. Oh, there's another flower. I'm gonna paint this one. I'll do both of them pink. And I'm going to put gold in the middle of that flower. I have some gold metallic paint. I'll paint Cure Pink. Ooh, that's a lot of paint. You just need a little touch. I could probably be using my uh, metallic gel pens to do this, which would be super cute too, to fill in the words. Actually, I'm gonna, I'll use my gold metallic gel pen and show you what that looks like. Oh, the butterfly. I forgot about the butterfly. I'm going to paint the sun gold. And I'm going to paint the center of this flower gold. And I think I'm going to paint the butterfly's body gold. What else? Is that everything? I think I colored in everything. I should have done more of those. I need more and I think that I will. I'll do more. Um, but yeah, let me just grab my gold metallic gel pen. Uh, here it is. And let's see if I can get... Let's get it started, yeah. Sometimes... Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, that's much easier than trying to paint it. So I could have used pink. I have a pink one too. I'll color love with pink. Now I think I'll do... No, I'll try pink. Um, gosh, if I could only make decisions. Let's see if I can find it. This is purple, isn't it? <clears throat> this is like a... Uh, I have like a pink glitter. You know what I have too? Silver. Let me try silver instead of gold all the time. Because I have a lot of uh, gold accent pieces like jewelry, but I did a lot of silver today. All those little flowers. So that looks pretty. Support. What other words? Any other words? I did cure. Okay, we're good. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to let that dry. The butterfly, I think I'll just leave like that, and I'm just going to put stickles. But that's basically it, you guys. Like, for these, that's what, I, what I'm going to do. I could, you know what, this is what I was thinking of doing, taking a little uh, of the metallic paint and just um, jazzing these up a little bit, like jazz. Haha, <laughs> get it? It's music. <laughs> just taking it and going like this to it. Making it pearly. Oh, that looks gorgeous. I have to do it. Have to do it. Just on half of it. Oh man, that's pretty. Hey Matt. Hey, I'm filming. Alright, I'll see you later. Okay, going to work? Yes. Alright, babe. Isn't that pretty? Kirby, you're bad. Yelling, barking. That is so pretty. Oops, I can't hardly hold that. It's so small. So I love, oh, gotta do love and hope. I love um, bling and shine and it just adds, look at that, ready? Boom. It just makes it prettier. I, don't, I think they might even have metallic clay. I'm not positive. I know there's glitter clay. I've used that and that's super pretty. Um, but I don't know about metallic, and I'm sure they do. I just can't think if I've ever seen it. So that'll dry. And 
I mean, this is just another option. I'm so glad I'm going back to uh, painting again because I used to paint all the time. I'm not in the shot, I know. Oh my gosh. And I am so happy that I'm getting out the painting again. I could actually do that on these two, but I think the stickles will be enough. I'm going to leave them plain. Um, so yeah, everything else is... Let's go back this way. So, I mean, that's all that I just did that took however long that was. It's not a lot. <laughs> Look, that's all the tiles. I tried to keep them small, though, on the small side. So maybe that's, you know, I mean, I, you could, you'll have more area covered if you make them bigger. But I'm going to, oh, let me add the stickles. I'll show you. And I just, like, I have so many different colors of white stickles. Um or I guess they're called different things. Like this is called diamond, but I'm like on the very last drops of this. And I like to put this on uh, these. I just put it on the ribbon and it just adds a whole nother cuteness factor, doesn't it? Look how cute, can you see that? So here's one with and one without. I love it. Oh man, makes me happy. So yeah, I am really, this is like the ends of these bottles. I have like four or five different clear ones that are upside down in my, oh my gosh, so pretty. Oh God, you know what? I gotta put it on these hearts. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's just calling for some glitter. And it's a button. It's weird because there's those little holes, but... Well, now it's a very frosted button. A little frosty. And I have pink stickles. I have every color. Um, but when it's... Usually, I'll just go with the clear, or the white, I guess you should call it. But look how much that adds to that. See this one? Plain, and now it will become... Frosty. I love it so much. Oh boy. It's so cute. What else can I put it on? Should I put it on these wings? I'm just getting carried away. I think that's fine the way it is. So yeah. And then the other thing, since I already painted these, I'll usually what I do is hopefully this is dry. I just see now that's all I got out of there. And I just rub it on. So you don't have to uh, use a ton, just enough, and look how oops, sparkly it gets. So that'll dry kind of like, um, um, what am I, you know what I'm saying, varnish. Amazing. All right, you guys, I'll be back when I am, or when I'm putting tiles on my boxes. I'll make another video. All right. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching.